Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Bell Dingle is aware that she is in a terrible circumstance. Her biggest nightmare has come true. She recently found out she is expecting Tom King's child, and she is currently attempting to process the news. She was able to recognize some of Tom's behavior during her stay in the crisis unit since the therapist posed some difficult questions to her. Conniving Tom had poisoned Piper to make Belle believe she was dying, forcing her to return home earlier than intended, all in an attempt to prevent Belle, who was only a day away from telling her therapist from disclosing the information. However, Bill feels deep down that something is amiss in their relationship, and when she finds out she is expecting, she knows without a doubt that she does not want Tom to be her father. Nurse Wendy is keeping her options open, but only she knows that. She revealed her pregnancy to Tom only after he threatened to beat her senseless, and she did so to defend herself. Then in yet another power ploy to keep her imprisoned, he ensured that everyone in the community knew. However, things haven't gone quite as he had hoped because Belle is a dement that she doesn't want this kid and knows she needs to find a method to resolve the matter without Tom knowing. As Belle tells the midwife that she does not want the baby, she is overcome with anxiety. Being unable to confide in her husband and having to go about things own almost makes her miserable. She makes a covered call to a taxi to get to an abortion clinic, but she soon cancels since Tom is bothering her. When Tom gives her a compliment on her makeup, Belle seizes the chance to ask him to snap a picture, clocking his passcode in the process. Belle still has his phone when Tom leaves the room, so she immediately unlocks it with the intention of obtaining their money so she can pay for the cab. However, when she flips through the phone, it dawns on her that he has been following her. While Belle's trip ahead is perilous, Tom's unraveling has firmly begun. Now that she's finally realized how much power he really has over her, he solidifies it even more when she begs to use the car, and he declines. However, Belle's fortitude is gaining strength, and she is resolved not to let him stop her. She finds the extra key and gets ready to make a covert retreat. Despite her fear, she understands she has to go to the abortion facility. This brand new film shows us how Belle's plan comes to life. Amelia approaches Belle in the hamlet and starts talking about how much Piper is liked by young Isther. Belle asks Amelia to take the dog for a walk while she is away for a few hours at an appointment, which sparks an idea in her head. Belle places her phone in the stroller at the same moment as she places some poop bags inside, leading Tom to use the monitoring app and assume his wife is out for a stroll. Then she opens the door of Tom's car and gets ready to go. After arriving at the clinic, Belle is horrified to see how far her marriage has fallen as she attempts to comprehend what has happened. Will she follow through it and get away from Tom? Don Fletcher is going through a difficult moment in the Dales. Watchers of Emmerdale have witnessed the loving mother of three coping with the devastating news that her infant son, even, has leukemia. Charities and real-life families have praised the plot. However, it has had an additional effect on Olivia Bromley, who plays Dawn. It has made her moody. The 28-year-old actress claims that even though she hasn't started a family of her own, spending so much time with her three on-screen kids secretly makes her feel like a genuine mother. I truly feel like a mother, particularly with me youngest, actor Malachi McKenzie, who portrays infant even, she divulges. No, Ryan Aspinall, age 8, and Mabel Addison, age 11, play Don's elder children, Lucas and Clemmy, respectively. They are so devoted to Olivia that they bring her handcrafted gifts and artwork, beads, drawings, and cards that Noah and Mabel made for me are all over my fridge. At home, she continues. It's quite charming. Furthermore, Malachit is adorable. 
Working with the real baby and visiting him in the hospital makes me very emotional. Olivia is in a relationship, but she prefers to stay well out of the public eye with her true companion. She does, however, adore the spotlight. That is, when it shines on her during a performance. After a hard day of filming, Olivia, who joined the soap opera in 2017, isn't content to simply have a she cheeky would much pint rather at the let loose at a jam session with Emmerdale's in house band. It's so funny. Olivia remarks There's a good group spirit because a lot of the cast members get involved and people dip in and out when they can to keep it going. The group, which specializes in rock and roll inspired cover tunes, frequently performs at charity events. Lead vocalist Olivia remarks. There are a lot of people in the cast who are musical, vocalists, or instrumentalists. In addition, Dean Andrews, who portrays my father and is an amazing vocalist, occasionally appears. We resemble the Von Trapp family. The majority of Dean's 60-year career has been spent performing professionally and working on cruise ships and bars. Dean plays Will Taylor. In the band is also Lawrence Robb, Mackenzie Boyd, Bradley Johnson, Vinny Dingle, and Katie Hill, Sarah Subden. The mandolin and bass are occasionally used by Patty's actor, Dominic Brunt. Other vocalists include Tony Audenshaw, who portrays Ba Hope, the proprietor of B&B, and, &B, and Amy Walsh, who plays Tracy Metcalf and is also Guy Ulls Allowed's Kimberly's younger sister. Olivia's musical career extends beyond the Emmerdale band, though. She also fronts Damson, a five-piece band that plays relaxed guitar and chilled music. They have songs out that you may download. The Emmerdale cast is so close-knit that they enjoy working out together in addition to creating music together. Olivia discloses that the cast frequently attends height sessions at the gym, which are essentially brief, intense bursts of exercise as a kind of relaxation after working long, sometimes 18-hour days. Olivia adds, when we're really busy at work, Nidalee, Amy Wyatt, Amy, Tracy Metcalf, and I find it a good way to get out the tension and stress. A small group of Emmerdale residents will accompany us to the classes. All felt fairly strong. It is even though it's quite intense, going through it all is enjoyable. A lot of us have moved for this job, so maybe we hang out more than other soap members do. She continues. And it's a pleasure to live in Yorkshire. While the Woolpack Bar and outdoor scenes are shot on a specially constructed set on the Harewood House country estate north of the city, the Emmerdale Studios are located in Leeds downtown. Olivia continues, We're fortunate to have that rural aspect, to see Deer and Feasance at work. It's very different from her child at home. Olivia, who was raised with a passion for music and was born in South Manchester, never imagined she would get her big break. My parents thought it was crazy because nobody in my family was in the acting business or knew anyone like that. The actress recalls, she attended the Oxford School of Drama after studying music at Bristol University. I moved to London after I graduated and worked in the city as well as doing a lot of fringe theater, she recalls. When I was hired for Emmerdale, I was actually a desk secretary at a stockbroker's. Many of the people I worked with were fans of Emmerdale, so when they saw me on screen, they were taken aback. Olivia was mistaken if she believed she would have enough time to get used to her first TV acting role. Storylines for Don and her on-screen spouse, Billy, portrayed by father of three, Jay Consul, have been rolling in quickly. Their wedding day in 2022 was maybe the worst in soap opera history, which is saying something, as Don was abducted by serial killer Mad Mina Chitla, played by Paige Sanhu. Additionally, Don has been reunited with her long-lost mother, Rose Jackson, Christine Trinmarco, who viewers know has a hidden purpose, but abandoned her when she was a child. For the most part, she says, working with Jay has been a lot of joy. We fight a lot, like we're brother and sister. Olivia explains. However, we collaborate on a lot of scenes and are an effective team. 
The relationship between the two was put to the test by the most recent terrifying plot. Together, they visited actual parents of children with leukemia to confirm that they had captured the crucial plot point. Our goal is to fairly represent the parents who are experiencing this. Olivia states, even though I don't have kids, I find it really emotional. Thankfully, there is always each other for support amid these taxing storylines. Ash Palmichiano resides nearby. Amy Walsh concurs as well. Therefore, Olivia says, we see each other quite a bit. And my on-screen father, Dean, and I are close. Olivia says with a smile, the we are like a family line is cheesy but true. It explains why people join Emmerdale and then want to stay in it forever. I never thought I would still be here seven years later when I first joined, or that she would undoubtedly become a mother of three, even if it's only during the working day. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.